All right. So this is going to show you how to um, fix your LSASS or Local Security Authority Subsystem Service in um, Windows 12 Release 2. Um, for some reason, if you have a domain controller and it's pointing out to the internet, it will get slammed. As you can see right here, it's just all these crazy requests. And it can go up to 30 megs of just useless bandwidth. So I was trying to figure out how to get this all situated to get it blocked. Went through all, everything with Windows, Advanced Firewall. Couldn't get it to block. I'd stop services. Active Directory, it still went on. It just kept getting slammed. So I get a Wireshark and I went through and found a bunch of these requests coming through on the CLDAP, which is port 389. So I start digging in there and looking how I could block it. Well, nothing in the firewall will let me block it. Every time I try, it would just it would just keep on going through. So I went to the local security policy here and decided to create a filter. So what you want to do, and this I've already created this, but we're going to show you how to kind of... Uh, make it your you know, make your own here what you want to do is go to your manage IP filter list and filter actions uh, this wouldn't be here you want to hit add but we're gonna hit edit to show you and this is where you can add in all your different IP and ports to block so we're gonna go in you would un obviously go under the add and it creates a little wizard hit next you can do your description we do not want mirrored and in the source IP address we're gonna put any destination any and protocol is gonna be UDP and then we're gonna say from any port but we want to block anything going to 389 and then you get done and then BAM it'll add it right here so source any port anything going to 389 and then when that's done we'll have it enlisted here and then you want to manage your actions so we're gonna add what we want here and we can call it block like we did in the other one and then we're going to just say block and that's it you're done boom you get it there and you can edit and change it whatever we're just going to block that so y once that's done you have a filter you want to create your IP security policy and that's what happens right there so you create that and you go into a wizard and you're going to name it uh, you know, block 389 UDP and hit next and we don't want dual response don't you and then boom you're done and go to edit properties which will look like this all right so you have filter this is what we created earlier and block and that's going to be in your list there so when you do that, you make sure that's checked and everything, you hit OK. And once that's all done, all you have to do to you know, uh, assign it and make it active is you hit Assign and then BAM. You'll start seeing your network go down to more manageable levels here, zero 
notice over here and then you should get your normal you know little spikes every once in a while with your clients accessing the information so anyway this was just really really killing me um to figure it out and there's not very much information out there you know everybody says well you should be behind a firewall but you know this is the data center this is a vm and we want to manage it using the existing windows tools and um one caveat is though i think the older domains will not connect because I was able to connect with our um, all of our Outlook clients, and but the phone wasn't. I wouldn't wasn't be able to connect through Android back to our Exchange server. So I switched it from the older domain to the newer style, and uh, it worked fine. So. Um, Anyway, something to help you out if you get stuck with that L-S-A-S-S -S -S getting hammered from the internet. And see, now we're clear. We're, we're um, doing good. So, anyway, have a nice evening. Bye.